Exposed Forehead shares the making of Tricked Out Tailspin. Tricked Out Tailspin, we've got, I think, all the tracking done. So I'm taking a fresh look at the mix um, just at the very beginning of it now. A little while back, uh, when we really started looking at, uh, at, at trying to finalize everyone's performances, uh, Kelp and I were exchanging um, uh, uh, production uh, models uh, in regards to sort of current pop songs and uh, pop singers uh, that were out there so that we could really try to update the, the way that we're producing and engineering this. Uh, Kelp took the lead on most of that, did a lot, got down into the weeds, uh, started uh, listening and watching YouTube videos from producers um, and how the tricks and how they do it all. We had initially wanted this song to be like maybe a have a grittier Motown feel to it, but I think I'm evolving to, to try to go for like a, a pure uh, pop representation here. And one of the things I did is layer up uh, several kick drums, uh, including some from classic Lynn drum machines and, and Oberheim DMX drum machines. Uh, I've got uh, the same thing with uh, snares. There's uh, several layers of, of snares going on. And uh, I create a separate uh, group of tracks for what I call metal works, um, uh, hi-hats and, and, and crashes. And we've got the, uh, the bass in here too. Tommy K's bass work. Uh, so I think he's really been successful at at uh, pulling it off and trying to get this song closer and closer to a, a modern pop song instead of sounding like an old 80s rock song, um, which was uh, something we were chasing at one point, but then we really outgrew that and, and started just becoming whatever we are now. Uh, here is the mixer for it, uh, what I've got in, in place so far. Uh, let's start with, these are all the drum tracks that are firing off right now. I've got uh, some processing on them, like on the, the snare, I've just used the transient designer to, to give it a little bit more of a pop and then reduce the sustain to make it, it drier. Looks like I'm adding a fair amount of top end uh, to that. Um, similarly, all the kicks are bussed to a single channel. And it looks like I'm doing kind of the same thing there, making it uh, making it pop a little bit more with a transient shaper and, and reducing the uh, sustain. Also putting some good top end on that, a little bit of low end filtering on it. Uh, what else is on there? Oh, the famous Waves R bass, just giving a little heft at uh, at 85 hertz. Um, and those are all going to uh, a drum bus right now. And just a little volume adjustment on that. Let's see, the hi-hats, what am I doing to those? Uh, sounds always devil look, just, or devil lock, I think. Uh, just dirtying those up a, a little bit. And so it looks like I turned that off. Uh, boy, same thing here. So this has been my formula so far on the drums. They're just make them pop more, uh, make them shorter and, and drier. Um, on this one, I'm actually reducing uh, some some of the top end here and then adding a little bit more, of, uh, looks like about 6K to it. The bass, what is happening on the bass right now? I'll go over to Tommy's bass stuff. Oh, I, I love this plugin. Just running it through this uh, Brainworks Ampeg uh, plugin really fattens things up. Um, a little upward and downward compression going on him. Lots of 1.5k added to, to get that thing to bite. Another R base. Uh, Slate has a new plugin called, I think this was free, called Heatwave, just adding some some grit and grind to it. And then lastly, a uh, SSL multiband compressor, just just hammering that uh, that low end into into place a little bit. And I think that's uh, 
that's going to the base bus. And now Softube just released this free uh, DBX160 model, uh, the VCA compressor. Man, this thing is is sounding uh, is good. I, I really like how this thing is sounding. In fact, I think I'm using that as a parallel channel on the uh, on the drums too. Yeah, I've got the a Devil Oak uh, running in parallel uh, with the drum tracks as well as another copy of the, the VCA compressor from Softube. And uh, I just I like how this is feeling so far. I, I like where it is starting out. 